So another important um, set of terms actually are gray matter versus white matter. And gray matter actually um, is typically uh, gray as a consequence of staining, um, you know, using a variety of stains. Um, but it basically um, is the site of the cell bodies of neurons. So neurons, right, of course, you know, have um, cell bodies where you have the nuclei, the nucleus inside here where the DNA is located, you know, and then they'll have these branch-like projections that are called dendrites, right? Um, and then they're going to have, you know, this sort of bulge at the beginning of a longer wire, typically, called an axon hillock, and then they have an axon, and then that can, you know, ramify or, or spread out into a number of different, uh, you know, axon collaterals, and then you get at the very tips or the end points or the terminals, the axon terminals. And neurons, you know, like to make connections, you know, with other neurons, right? So there's going to be, you know, neurons that have lots of dendrites and a cell body, and then there's going to be, you know, an axon, and then there's going to be a connection point, which is a gap or a space known as a synapse here. And many of the axons um, <clears throat> that are carrying information, you know, out from the cell body. So Typically, the dendrites are the site of input for, you know, information. There's integration, you know, at the level of the cell body, particularly the axon hillock. And then there's a message sent, an electrical message that gets sent out, you know, to the next, you know, neuron. Many of these axons actually have this wrapping. It's membrane. It's actually the, the same sort of phospholipid bilayer that surrounds all the other compartments of a neuron and even all the, you know, intracellular organelles. Um, and it is, you know, made up of phospholipids, so it's got a lot of fat in it. Um, and this is actually the membrane that's a, that's um, contributed by specialized glial cells, which are, you know, support cells in the nervous nervous system. In the central nervous system, these are a uh, form of glial cell known as the oligodendrocyte, and they wrap, you know, uh, portions of their membrane around the the axons. And the axons, therefore, are what we call myelinated because that phospholipid bilayer and uh, proteins that are specifically associated with the oligodendrocyte um, uh, membrane, the uh, the myelin-associated proteins or MAPs. Actually, this is this is actually um, referred to as myelin. So myelination by by wrapping these um, uh, you know axons, it actually speeds the uh, the flow of current um, along these axons. The the gray matter in your brain is going to consist of the cell bodies of neurons and the nucleus, you know, of the neuron, um, the dendrites, and the axon terminals and synaptic connections that are being formed in in that region. So basically, the gray matter areas, major areas of gray matter we're going to be talking about in this neuroanatomy class, of course, include the cortex, which is you know Latin for bark, the outer you know surface, you know, basically of uh, the cerebrum, for example, and we're going to see that other structures like our little brain or cerebellum also has a pretty substantial um, gray matter cortex with lots of neurons located there and lots of you know projections coming in and projections going out, axons arriving and axons leaving. <clears throat> but there's also areas of gray matter that are located you know, deep within the brain that you need to actually make some kind of a coronal slice or a sagittal slice or a horizontal slice to reveal. Um, and these, these are what we call subcortical regions. A clump of gray matter located subcortically cortically is referred to as a, um, as a nucleus. So there's lots of nuclei, subcortical nuclei that are located within <clears throat> both the cerebrum and also within the cerebellum, um, including a whole set of interconnected nuclei we'll talk about later that are called the basal ganglia. Um, there's the thalamus, actually, which, you know, receives, we're going to see sensory input and distributes it to cortex and receives a lot of, you know, feedback from cortex. This is also where, you know, lots of axon terminals are arriving and forming synaptic connections with dendrites on the neurons, the cells, the cell bodies themselves within these nuclei in the thalamus, for example. So gray matter is the, the cell bodies, the dendrites, and the axon terminals and associated you know, synaptic connections, while the white matter is pretty much everything else, is basically the, the, uh, the longer axons that are myelinated typically. And the myelination, that fatty covering that's provided by the oligodendrocytes, actually is um, you know, why it looks white to a large extent. It's fat. Um, so you got this cabling surrounded by you know, insulating fat. Um, so white matter is referred to often you know, by multiple terms, you, we have like a very famous 
you know, connection between the two hemispheres of the brain called the corpus callosum. That's a tract, right? Um, but we also talk about if the uh, the white matter is kind of ribbon shaped, it's called a lemniscus. Uh, it could be a peduncle, which is like a, a narrow kind of like thick kind of it's sort of narrow and thick, but it like a kind of a thicker actually flat where, where the accent sort of narrow down into a, 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 a kind of a like a, a pet what they call a pediment, so a peduncle like a like a big footing. Um, and there's a number of other terms that refer to different. Um, you know, uh, kind of structures of white matter that we'll talk about as we continue with the class.